Well, good morning here from Los Angeles. I think it might be afternoon in New York, but um, I'm Valerie. I'm the senior editor of The Hollywood Times, and um, I want to welcome Lloyd from um, Closing Dynasty and his short film, and uh, it, I'm going to let him go ahead and introduce himself. Thank you, Lloyd. Hi. Of course. Uh, I'm Lloyd. I'm the writer-director of Closing Dynasty. It's a charming short film, um, while at the same time, it is quite sobering how this little girl's life, um, she's uh, she's seven years old, um, and she's uh, into such a, she's a little hustler, but mm. for a good cause. Um, let's start with this little seven-year-old trying to raise money. She's mm. a fairly good hustler and thief. Um, mm -hmm. and I am sure her parents are not aware of her daytime activities of cutting school to hustle on the subway and the streets, um, speaking to her motivation. Is the family restaurant closing, thus the little one, or, you know, doing these things, or is she just trying to help her parents through a struggle? Mm. Yeah, I wanted to keep that um, a little vague, but, you know, in my mind, uh, you know, I think she's been doing this for a while, you know, maybe not every day, but maybe a few times a week, she's been going out trying to raise a bit of extra money and sneaking the money in, in the cash register. Um, for me, the, the chairs, you know, her dad sell the chairs and her walking out and just missing was sort of that first sign of, you know, things going amiss. So, um, yeah, yeah, it is, it is definitely hinting that it's closing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and speaking of her again, um, Malinka Winata, is that how you pronounce her name? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we just call her Millie though. Millia? Okay. Uh, Mil Millie, Millie, yeah. Millie, Millie, okay. Mm -hmm. She's such a really good little actress. She plays mm -hmm. the role in its entire range um, of necessary emotions. And uh, she, you know, in her guise, she's very, she's very good. Um, was she a product of, of a casting call or did you uh, have her in mind from the start? Yeah, we were uh, we were casting for a couple, maybe six weeks. Um, and initially, you know, the whole film was inspired by a little boy that I met on the subway in real life. So, you know, for me, for for the first little bit, I was trying to find this kid, this boy, actually, to represent the kid I actually met um, in the New York City subway. And we just couldn't find the right kid after, you know, dozens and dozens of uh, little boys that came in for the casting call. We just couldn't find him to carry the film. So, you know, sort of at the last minute, we said, okay, let's open up to girls uh, in New York and LA. And immediately we found a few great options, but Millie was that shining star. <laughs> and, you know, obviously the, she, she lives in LA and, and one of the main concerns was, you know, flying her over to New York. Um, she's never been to New York. She's not a New York kid. So I was hoping for like a New York kid to do this, but she has something so special that we were willing to take the risk to fly her over uh, very last minute. You know, she flew in basically the night before we're shooting and we, we you know, fit her in wardrobe basically the day before filming. And, um, and yeah, it just worked out perfectly. She's a star. She's incredible. Incredible. And then the musical soundtrack, it's very minimal, but quite effective mm -hmm. in its various mm -hmm. tempos and scoring. Uh, were the tunes chosen from exist existing works or or were yeah. they written and performed for the movie? It's a bit of both. There's some composed music by our uh, amazing composer, Charles Humanry. Um, and then the other songs were just, you know, um, songs that I've been inspired by, listened to while writing um and yeah they just i wanted sort of this old vintage um feeling that was a bit melancholic as well and, and not too uh, the mix between you know charming whimsical but also there's a there's like a, a sadness to it all as well and uh as far as this uh cinematography it's brilliant mm. the filming the entire film from queenie's vantage point really puts the audience in the film uh, was 
that the plan all along when the script was written or did this come from the cinematographer? Yeah, it was an early conversation. You know, we, we definitely wanted uh, our amazing cinematographer, Chris Liu, his, um, his incredible. And we had these early conversations about seeing this big city from her point of view. So really keeping the camera at her eye level for almost the entire film. Um, there's little bits where we're watching from afar and and we wanted to observe, you know, real life happening. And actually a lot of those interactions are real people just interacting with her. So um, it was it was making making the city feel big and sometimes oppressive, but also very open as well. And so, um, yeah, it was a mixture of long lenses, but also being close with her and, and feeling sort of that lower world, the perspective of being down three feet tall and seeing the city from that from that height. Cool. Uh, it, it's the film's very much an open ended prom- proposition. Like, no judgment is made mm-hmm. on the morality of Queenie's actions, as none of the adults, you know, know what she is doing. Um, you know, with the exception of perhaps the w- women or the woman on the subway, um, mm-hmm. uh, they don't know what she's doing in lieu of school. Do you think the audience is going to make those kinds of moral judgments or do you think mm-hmm. that they will be charmed by Queenie's hustle and enterprise? I think it's just naturally charming. You know, she's never really um, taking anything of, of substance until maybe the end, but you know, I think, I think, just just the fact that this little little kid, I think, makes us not really judge her too harshly. Um, and and you know, the the honorable reasons I think revealed at the end is what really makes it the more heartbreaking. Um, and so, yeah, for me, it was really just making us fall in love with Queenie and you know her charm and her confidence, and is really that representation of that kid I actually met, you know, uh, in real life, and and wanted to dig into that that character and that world a little more Um, and the reasons, you know, there's always a reason. So, yeah. And, you know, do do you have, have a moral to the story at all? No, there's no really big moral lesson. I think this is just a simple, for me, a simple portrait of family trying to get by and, and really about the resilience of kids. You know, I think we, 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 we don't really give them full credit for, what they're truly aware of and, and understanding. And maybe they don't understand, you know, the full brevity of a situation, but they definitely feel it, you know? And I think that there's something really beautiful and magical about that. And um, yeah, I just wanted to really do a simple portrait of a, of a kid in New York City. So I'm sure you're on the film festival circuit. Are you thinking of <clears throat> something next for your creativity and your next film? Or? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm hoping to do my first feature film in in early next year. So early 2024, there's plans to to do my first feature, which is exciting. Um, and just make a bunch of movies from from here on out. I'm really, really to, to jump into that um, the feature world, and so hopefully that happens. Well, you're good at filmmaking, so please. Yeah. Keep, uh, we're the Hollywood Times dot today, so keep us posted on your endeavors and. Our uh, our YouTube is the Hollywood Times official. And how can we find, how can our viewers and our readers find you? Uh, just uh, probably Instagram is best at Lovely Choi. And uh, I just hover there once a week, answer some email, uh, some messages, and that's it. <laughs> Great. Love it. Well, thanks so much for taking your time today with us. Awesome. Thank and you. Uh, keep in touch, and we'll send you a link and, and to our review. And uh It's been great talking to you. Yeah, likewise. Thank you so much. Appreciate the time. Bye-bye.